Welcome back everybody, this is Spotlight Guy from AC Syndicate TV and in this video I'm going to show you how to flash the stock rooted FB17 ROM or ice cream sandwich as we call it and the FB15 modem and we're going to flash the FB15 modem because the FB17 ROM did not have a modem that came with it. So uh, before I get into this video just make sure that you do have recovery installed on your phone and if you don't, and because you're running uh, FB15 uh, ROM of Ice Cream Sandwich, then watch my other video that I posted today, and it'll show you how to get recovery back onto your phone. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need to do is to go to the link that's provided in the description of this video, click on it, and it'll take you to XDA Forums, and uh, the thread started by Calculin, so special thanks to him. And uh, as you can see, it's the stock rooted FB17 systems ice cream sandwich ROM. And in the description of this uh, post, it'll t say it'll talk about what it is, how it doesn't include CWM, and uh, just like brief instructions on what to do. All you need to worry about is to go to the stock rooted Deodex FB17 ROM, click on that, and download it and the FB15 modem, you also want to click on that and download that as well. Now, make sure that, as I said previously, that you do have Clockwork Mod because once you flash the ROM and the modem and reboot your phone, you are going to completely lose the recovery. All right, once you downloaded both of those, you're gonna to navigate to your folder, that wherever they installed from, and uh, I already have mine right here. You have the ROM and the modem. All right, uh, next thing you're gonna do is plug in your Epic 4G touch phone uh, with your USB cable and put those, both of those uh, zip files into, the, uh, into your, either your internal storage or your SD card. Make sure it's in the root folder, which means the very first folder that pops up, uh, paste them in there. Do not uh, go into any subfolders. You want these in your root folders. I already did that as well. So now let's go back to our phones. All right, from here, you're gonna have to power down your phone. And you're gonna wanna get into recovery. To get into recovery, all you need to do is first you need to wait till the lights on the bottom of your phone turn off. Now that'll indicate that it's completely shut down, which it just did. And you're gonna hit the volume up button and hold down and the power button. You're gonna hold it down until the screen flashes. Right there. And there we go, there's recovery. All right, let's wait for this to focus. All right, you're gonna go to install zip from a zip file, or excuse me, you're gonna to need to do a wipe. So uh, hit wipe and then wipe data, factory reset. All right, then wipe cache. and then wipe Dalvik cache. All right, go back, then install zip, or install from zip file. And then you're gonna pick either SD card or internal storage, depending on where you put it. And then you're going to flash the uh, stock rooted Deodex FB17 ROM. Hit yes and let it work. All right, once you flashed your ROM, you're going to choose zip from either your SD card or your internal storage again, then go down to the E4 GT modem FB15.zip. Hit that and yes, install. All right, so uh, it didn't really take too long. The modem, uh, flashing of the modem is complete. So now we can go back and reboot system. There 
we got the boot up screen. Now remember this will, uh, or what you just did, uh, it was you wiped your data. So obviously before you do this, make sure you make a backup of uh, your phone in case something goes wrong or uh, you just don't really like the setup. So you could always uh, make that an Android backup and then flash back to that. As always, the first time you flash a ROM and a modem, it might take a little longer than usual for the boot up time. Don't worry about it. Uh, you should only worry about it if you've been waiting a half hour and you are still booting up. Then you might have had some problems. You might want to restore your uh, previous backup. All right, now we're at installing applications. Uh, it's basically just installing all the uh, the Sprint bloatware that comes with every uh, Sprint phone when you buy it. And here we go. Here we are. Here we're booted up. And let me show you what we got. Go to settings, about phone. All right, there it is. Once it, there we go. Oh, of course, right when it focuses, it's got to back out on me. All right, so Android 4.0.3. Yep, there it is. Okay, FB17 and FB15 uh, modem. All right, so it worked. It's great. Uh, if you liked this video, then please subscribe and then go to all my social networking websites, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Subscribe to those. You keep up to, up to date with every, all the videos that I put out and uh, everything else that AC Syndicate TV does. Uh, and please try to get over to my blog. I'm trying to get that set up where I post uh, all my videos on there that is done on AC Syndicate TV and then all my news stories and stuff that's not in my ACS report and that I felt like it was and just needed to be written down and talked about, then I'll also post that on my blog. Uh, as always, this is Spotlight Guy, signing out. Thank you.